Hey guys, it's Lauren here. I want to quickly talk about the theory behind how dogs actually learn. There's um, a behavioral science called operant conditioning. Basically, it's a school of thought that controls or directs or guides behavior based on consequences. So there's four ways to direct behavior under the school of thought. So the first method is positive reinforcement. The positive doesn't mean like good vibes. The positive means you're adding something. Think of it as in math addition, you're adding something to make a behavior more likely to occur again as a consequence, right? So you ask the dog to sit, the dog sits, you say good, you give them a treat. You're adding the treat to reinforce the sit. Negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement, an example for humans, is you're in your car, you just got in, that annoying beeping sounds going off because you need to put your seatbelt on. The moment you put your seatbelt on, that noise stops, it's taken away. The negative, it doesn't mean bad vibes. Remember math, negative means you're taking something away to make a behavior more likely to occur again. So you put your seatbelt on, the sound is taken away to reinforce the behavior of you putting your seatbelt on. We using leash pressure to have a dog sit. Slight pressure, and the moment the dog does the behavior, which is the butt hits the ground for the sit, you release that pressure. Again, you're taking away, you're subtracting the pressure to reinforce the behavior, which is the sit. So this is about to be an example of negative reinforcement. Good. See, that was it. Now this is positive reinforcement. Good. So don't think of negative reinforcement as in like negative, it's bad, it's scary, it's mean. A lot of people think that and that's just a lack of understanding. Now, we got the reinforcement down. <laughs> the other two quadrants of this theory, so the first one's positive reinforcement, second one's negative reinforcement. Now we're getting into punishment. Ooh, scary word. The thing is you have to remember what punishment means. It's a consequence to make a behavior less likely to occur again. If you don't pay your visa bill and the bank charges you interest, that's punishment. If you're speeding and a police officer pulls you over to give you a ticket, that's punishment. Like there's punishment throughout our, our society. It's it, like you have to have consequences for undesired behaviors, right? Otherwise, it would, we would live in a chaotic world, right? We kind of do, but it's a bit more humane because we have policies and procedures in place. Positive punishment, again, you're adding something as a consequence to make the dog's behavior less likely to occur again. For example of positive punishment, again, you're adding something. The positive doesn't mean good vibes, it means you're adding something is the dog is pulling ahead and you just pop the leash and the dog goes, oh. And every time the dog pulls or goes ahead, you pop it and the dog's like, oh. And they'll recorrect because they're learning that every time they pull, there's an undesired consequence because the dog's doing undesired behavior. Negative punishment, <clears throat> you're taking something away as a consequence for the dog's behavior. So for example, I'm recalling the dog, they're ignoring me. They heard me, they looked at me, and then they just ran the opposite way. I step on the, their long lead and I put and I reel them in and I put them on a timeout. Now they're walking with me on leash. I took something away as a consequence for their undesired behavior to make their behavior less likely to occur again. Can you think what I took away? I took away their freedom. I took away their off-leash freedom and put them on a timeout. Does that make sense? I try to say it as fast as possible because I know people have a short attention span and it, even then it was still seven minutes. Oh goodness. Okay, bye guys. And just for the record, before people get too upset, there's um, other schools of thoughts. Operant conditioning is just one way dogs learn. There's also a school of thought called classical conditioning. And then there's also single event learning.